hello friends welcome to the channel this is channel from where you can get lots of information about new technologies and tips and tricks for electronic gadget repairing in this video I am going to show how to repair a desktop computer this is you can see here is a box CPU box of a desktop computer and in a desktop computer main part is this processing unit and what are the parts included in this unit you can see here this is first this is the external part it is called casing you can call it a casing or cover it is similar as the housing of a cell phone it protects all the components inside inside this box so all the major components of computer are placed in this box and the box name is caching so this box is also called tower type casing because it is placed vertically in previous or old computers or desktop or flat type of casings are used but, but this casing is called tower type and you can also call it ATX caching. ATX means advanced technology extender. This is the latest type of, of caching which are being used in all new computers. And what are the components inside this caching? You can see there are many components placed in in this caching. At the top I have opened the cover of this side. You can see cover is placed in this side and similar cover is also placed at this side and I have opened that cover to show the internal pass and okay let's check out the components inside the box in the caching inside the caching we can find many parts placed at the top here you can see something is written over there this is a power supply this is a power supply of this CPU unit so why this power supply is placed here we connect AC here is an AC cable we connect AC into it here you can see something is written over there what is it? AC 220 volt. In AC in country, 220 volt AC is applied. So you can put AC here and you can get DC voltage outside from this power supply. So the main function of this power supply is to convert AC voltage into DC voltage so that the component inside the CPU can get DC voltage and work. I have already mentioned that all the electronic components works with DC voltage. There is no any electronic component or electronic device which can work with AC voltage. So there is a easy technique by which you can identify whether the component is component or device or part is AC or DC. If it is working with DC voltage then uh, it's, it is electronic type component and if it is working with AC voltage then, then that type of component or parts or device is called electrical devices so computer is an electronic device so all the parts used in this caching is also an electronic devices and the peripheral components like monitor key key keyboard mouse they are also electronic components printer scanner all the things are electronic components components so the main function of this power supply is to convert AC voltage into DC voltage and what are the other components other parts you can see the big parts inside the okay let's see let's check out this this is you can see here it is a hard disk okay, it's can see here 
this part this part is called hard disk it is the memory of computer here ram was placed but there is not ram has been removed okay it is a hard disk and the big board inside you can see the big red color board here this board is called motherboard and this is the fan fan placed over processor the main purpose of the fan is to make the proce processor cool so this is a cooling fan this is the motherboard and this is the power supply the cover is called casing this is hard disk if D uh, dvd is placed over here there is no dvd here i can show you DVD. Here is a DVD, you can see here, it's a DVD, DVD is placed over here, from outside, if you want to put a DVD, then you have to insert it from outside, like this, here it is. Okay, now you can see DVD is placed here and we have to connect you can see here yeah. DVD this is DVD you can place a DVD in CPU like this first you have to remove this cover from the casing and you can put DVD into it and after placing DVD inside caching you can you have to connect the cables like this type of cables this is a SATA cable in old type of hard disk and DVD PATA cables are used and this cable ok let I I wanna see it. this cable is there are two types of cables are used to connect in DVD and hard disk. And one is for data, this is data cable, and one is for power. This is for power. So first thing the hard disk and DVD should get the power. The power is being supplied from the power supply and the data is is this cable carries the data from hard disk or DVD to the motherboard and the motherboard send the data to the processor and the processor process the data and does the work according to the requirement of users so this data is used for carrying data and this cable this cable these are different cables these cables are used to supply power to the hard disk or DVD in new this type of power cables are used this this is called SATA cable and in old type of hard disk this type of power cable are used this is called PATA type cable okay so there are no many components uh, you no many parts used in uh, CPU box only they are if you want to build a CPU then you have to buy a power supply and DVD if you if you need this DVD then you have to buy if you don't need then you can um, keep it optional it is it is optional device and hard disk should be used because hard disk is hard disk must be in this unit and mother which should be also there the fan should be also placed inside a fan there is a metallic part which is called heatsink